ladies and gentlemen, if you would, if you're a fan of fiction, uh, and I would hope that you would be, um, check out our boy Nicholas Orr. Uh, he's got a book called Field Ops. It is the trilogy, so you can read the first story, and then you don't have to wait. You could just roll right into the because they're written as a series. Uh, you know, the one goes into the next, goes into the next. You, if you trust me, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. All right. Brownells bullet points brought to you by Brownells. Bing, bang, boom. Brownells bullet points brought to you by Brownells. Brownells Brownells.com. Now, they're always coming up with new, cool, interesting things at Brownells.com. And uh, something they started, jeez. Oh, I can't. I I guess it was about 10 years ago that they started the Brownells branded products when it comes to firearms accessories. Now, they've been doing Brownells branded stuff for a long time. But what they started doing was actually manufacturing parts whether it was 1911 magazines or bolt and bolt carrier groups or slides or whatever under the Brownells banner, right? Mm-hmm. Well, they went from making parts to making complete guns. And one of the most interesting things, at least to me, that they have done over the last decade is they released their retro line of guns. And one of the guns that they re they resurrected essentially uh, is the what well, that's called the BRN one eighty. And what the BRN one eighty is is it's a copy. Uh, it's a licensed um, replica reproduction of the original Armalite eighteen or the Armalite one eighty. If you're not familiar with the Armalite eighteen or the Armalite one eighty, you should get familiar with it. Uh, it's a very famous design. It was designed by Stoner. Gene Stoner and his team. It was designed, designed by a Stoner. By a Stoner. Yep. Uh, when he they did the AR-15, and the, he did the AR-10, and the AR-15, and, and so on and so forth. And he did the AR-18 uh, and the AR-180. AR, AR stands for Armalite rifle. rifle. The, he, it was the Armalite company. <sighs> AR stands for Armalite Rifle Model 15, 18, whatever. So what Brownells is doing is they're manufacturing brand new uppers and lowers. Um, And one of the things they're doing now, they just lost their minds and they came out with a brand new Gen 2 10 and a half inch barrel 7.62 by 39 millimeter BRN 180 upper. That is awesome. So you can make a rifle caliber pistol with that. And in addition to that. Royal Canadian Police. Yeah, Royal Canadian Police. Rifle caliber pistol. RCP. Uh, But there's an M in there. They're not mounted, though. Yeah, they're not mounted. It's the unmounted. It's the the unmounted Royal Canadian unmounted police. Unmounted ones. Yeah, the unmounted ones are the Stasi. They're the ones that go around uh, confiscating people's airsoft guns. Because it might be a firearm. Well, that happens in New York, too. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, maybe not that exact specific thing, but a toy gun that is... Yeah. For those so, of you that don't know. The, we you talked don't know. about that on a different show. Yeah. You got to keep up, man. Go back and listen. Yeah, go back. Yeah, keep up. Within the last five months. So yep. go back and listen to the most recent five months. So the BRN... It was actually last week. But the BRN 180... The interesting thing about the BRN 180 is the fact that it has a different recoil system than an AR-15. It does not require a buffer tube or and so forth. That's uh, a new cool invention. Yeah, it's a Gene Stoner came up with that like only sixty years ago. Um, <laughs> hmm. So the the Armalite, the Armalite 180 has it doesn't require a buffer or buffer tube and so because of that what stoner was able to do is he was able to come up with a folding stock version and what brownells has done is they have an upgraded the apparently the original one wasn't as tight as they wanted it to be so they uh they upgraded it and those are available right now for with a double d for a double dose of pimping um and you can get those right now so the the folding stocks for the the brn 180 
It has a Picatinny mount. It goes directly onto the back of your rifle. So if you have a rifle that has a pick mount at the at the rear of it, uh, you can put one of these. It's really cool. I, I as a firearms kind of a historian, I don't know if I'm a historian. Uh, I'm just a dude who's been paying attention to the gun world for 40 years. Uh, I'm kind of excited about that. I actually, uh, I, you know what I wish they would do, though, Jared, is I, if I could have my wish, my wish would be that they would make an upper with the polymer. I know why they did it with the aluminum, because people, modern Americans, have to screw and attach stuff to their guns. But the original one just had a polymer uh, forend. What about ancient Americans? Yeah, yeah. Ancient Americans. Is that different than modern Americans? Yeah, ancient Americans, modern Americans. The current crop of modern Americans, they have to, you know, they have to have stuff, so they accommodated you. But, uh, yeah, because the you you say, well, I'll just buy an original AR-180. <laughs> Will you now? Is that your plan? Well, I don't want to buy one from them. I'm just going to I'm gonna buy an original. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the people that are going to save up their money and they're going to buy a dragon off. They're not going to buy a PSL. They're going to buy a dragon off. Like, well, let me know how that works out for you. Let me know how that works out for you. Uh, did you find one for sale? Mm, I'm looking. Oh, uh, if you find one for sale, a, I'm going to be impressed. Oh, I think I might've found one. And, uh, on gun broker. Mm. Well, you, you find out and let me know. Yeah, there, the Armalite company stopped making these a long, 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 long time ago. So if you can find an original, uh, you say, what's the, the difference between the 180 and the 18? Uh, select fire. Here we go. AR 180. It's in California. It's uh, $2,125. Wow, that's actually not bad. Yeah. Is it neutered? Sold three months ago, but it's got to be. No, it, it's not. Mm, it was sold three months ago? No, it wasn't sold three months ago. It, oh, yeah, it was sold three months ago. Yeah, so it's not for sale anymore. My mind read something else, but my <laughs> lips said the right thing. <laughs> There's another one here that was sold three months ago. It was twenty two thousand nine hundred and twenty eight dollars Yeah. Well, you can get the parts and components to make a BRN-180, uh, for far less than two thousand dollars. Yes. So I would say for less than a thousand dollars, you can, or I guess right around a thousand dollars if you wanted to assemble it, put it together, and make it and so forth. But uh, oh, there's a tab that's for sale. There are zero. There's, there's a total of zero for sale. So I guess this is just <laughs> helping you find the value of the thing you have. Yeah. But uh, if you're looking for something new, cool, different, interesting, the BRN 180 from Brownells is a, is a pretty darn slick uh, item. Uh, I think it's one of the coolest things I think they've done in a long, long time. So there you go. Our boys at Brownells. All right. Uh, oh, and make sure that you're subscribing or uh, not subscribing, that you text BRN to 556-223. Five five six two two three. There you go. 